Okay, this is my uh, first attempt at uh, getting a switchman to move. I've made him so that he can pivot. He's just uh, sitting in this board at the moment that I'm making up. This is the switch stand that I've made there now. And the components that I've made it out, I've machined up some, some brass. I'll just grab this. There's just a little brass stand. Just easy. And I tin the bottom of that. I put it onto a piece of um, brass shim. And then I put a couple of pieces of uh, circuit board. Just uh, This is an old HON3 turnout I've got. But to show you what we've got here. Here's my fingers, camera's in front of me. So I can get the movement on that. Now that's just enough. And doing that underneath there. This is the only tricky part about it. There's a piece of shim there. So we using the wire, I'm using 17 thou. Nickel, nickel silver wire it's nice easy to tin so I put the piece of wire through and I've drilled the holes in the um, in the piece of shim two holes about a 30 second of an inch apart and that allows the movement I'll just turn this around again that allows that bit of movement if you can see that that's going to be the hardest part of putting this together and this rod here that's going to onto the uh, throw bar, that's um, that's just going to work backwards and forwards as you throw the slide switch. And that'll turn that. So that's getting that to turn, the target to turn. I've got to now put the figure on and get him to turn as well. So he's pivoting. So I've drilled two holes up his leg. And... A pin and all I've got to do is the same as what I've done underneath here is put a, um, a uh, piece of brass shim and uh, solder that onto a pin that goes up this leg up his left leg and then it pivots on the wire to get him to go backwards and forwards as we're pushing this one uh, <laughs> this is uh, just putting it all together showing you how it's uh, I'm attempting to do this. Okay, there's the figure, an HO figure. So we've got him on a pivot there now. I'm getting to move backwards and forwards, or sideways. So that's 90 degrees to the same as what the target's going to go. We just need to connect this, this wire onto the target wire, and we have it... Um, we have them working together. Here's a slide switch. So we can turn that this straight through, which is that track at the back here. I've got this backwards, but it, just for the demonstration purposes. again so what we've got the slide switch you can drill a hole in here which is bigger to take up some of the slack on this wire here without having to have it a bending too much so the hole that you drill in there you can open that out just to uh, make adjustments on here that's what I found and then the throw bar of course the figure he's got the second wire which I've just welded, uh, soldered on there uh, there's only a little bit of movement in him if you move his feet closer together you get more of a 90 degree turn on him but for demonstration purposes which is all this is um, 
you've got got him uh, there's the stop and then if you're looking from a distance if his arm's straight the um, the track is straight through for you I know this isn't right but let's just say that that's the straight through track and this one's off to the the yard so you can make that that way and of course slide switch you only need three wires a center wire going to the frog um, and then a wire reach from each rail and that's that's an easy way rather than having to throw them with your finger all the time there you go so little video I hope that helps